So, Anu, how are you doing? Goodness, um, <laughs> having the time away from filming during lockdown. When I first got back onto set for The Northman, I was completely unbearable. Beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. Because it was so emotionally overwhelming for me. And listen, this movie was not easy or fun to film. Well, people say it wasn't fun. I was having the time of my life. Wow, today was a very good day. Covered in mud. Covered in mud. In the ocean, minus three degrees, not wearing any shoes, not wearing any clothes, really, because, you know, it's period accurate. Um, but I just, yeah, I couldn't stop. I was almost like the unofficial cold cheerleader. I'd just run around everywhere being like, this is amazing. Look what we get to do. And I do think, and hopefully Rob will agree with me on this, if like, the skinny blonde girl is mm -hmm. not complaining about the cold. If the big burly stunt guy says anything, do you know, you kind of set the precedent. In my mind, <laughs> Skarsgård's got a hot water bottle strapped to his pecs and you're just going, <laughs> oh, come on. To be fair to him, I mean, he worked so hard on this movie. Like there were days whenever I wasn't filming, I would think about what he was doing mm -hmm. and I'd just send him texts of like, thinking of you. <laughs> Sending you love. I promise it will end. You will go home today, I swear. <laughs> Enjoy murdering five people today yeah. with your top off in the rain. Enjoy being naked at a volcano for the fourth day in a row of a night shoot. <sighs> yeah. Good times. We had a great time. <laughs> <laughs> When I spoke to you for Glass, we talked about you having this sort of prank war with James McAvoy. Yeah. And you would post pictures of Mr. Tumnus and certain quotes mm -hmm. across his trailer. When James and I first started working together, we started to make memes of each other to prank each other. And my favorite one was I would just take all of the Mr. Tumnus pictures and just post them inside of his room. So I see that and I don't <laughs> see the beast. I'm just like, oh, I trolled you really hard. In my mind, watching this movie at the end, I thought, I wonder if she posted pictures of Mikus from Zoolander <laughs> on Alex's trailer. It's like, excuse me, but have you ever heard of style and gel? <laughs> no, but I do have a beautiful collection, and Alex will not mind me telling you this, but I do mm. have a beautiful collection of um, Scar's Guard off Ducey behind the scene pictures. So On the it's, phone. Oh, yeah. Oh, nice. So, you know, it's like covered in blood, ready to go, absolute hero, and then it's sunglasses, <laughs> Uggs, like <laughs> lying back in the field on our one day of sun, just really enjoying it. Candy Crush, yes. Exactly. I can see it. <laughs> Why would you throw away to such a hellish place? To find what was stolen from me. And what is that? The kingdom. I know this is going to sound barbed, but I have to know. How does the Northman compare to Viking Quest? Oh, goodness. You've lost sight of the star in the north. The sand is full of the south wind. We're going in the right direction. With deep love to uh -huh. Viking Quest and sure. everybody involved, it was my first time on a set ever. ever. And I, yeah, and I was so excited, but I thought all movies were made in three weeks. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. Three you, weeks. You said before that you thought you were at the top of the cast list because your name began with A. Yeah. Yeah. So that was The Witch. For Viking Quest, it was more. Right ahead. We're close. It was really guerrilla filmmaking, uh -huh. but I made some excellent friends and I very much enjoyed Sophia. And yeah, I just thought, oh, this is great. <laughs> also, our director would call it Shootski, which I enjoyed, and Kutski. Shootski! Yeah, exactly. Kutski! Yeah, it was kind of fun. You know what? <laughs> if I ever get to direct a film, I'm stealing that. You got to do it. That's all mine now. Do you know Goose Street? Very well. I'm on Goose Place, number eight. Madame. We also spoke recently for Edgar Wright's Last Night in Soho. Mm -hmm. We're in Soho right now, which is mm -hmm. kind of surreal. How does it feel to know that over four and a half million people on YouTube alone have listened to your version of Downtown? Is that true? When you're alone and life is making you Whoa, that's how that feels. 
That's crazy. Really? I Whoa. didn't I didn't look up the Spotify stats because I didn't want to blow your head off. Okay. You know what's funniest about that is obviously I sang it for the movie. Mm -hmm. And you know, I was really excited to do it a cappella, it felt right. When you're alone and life is making you lonely, you can always go downtown. But when we actually did the recordings that ended up on the record, I just showed up and Edgar was like, want to do three different versions? And I was like, okay. And two hours later, it was done. What? So it was like a very fast, quick thing that's now has its own life. And I, I feel really, really proud of it. Honestly, the comments below, they're incredibly flattering. Thank so, you. So there you go. Thank you, world. <laughs> Appreciate you. <laughs>
<laughs> You've met my first officer, Mr. Arrow. Sterling, tough, dependable, honest, brave and true. Please, Captain. Oh, shut up, Arrow. You know I don't need a word of it. I always liked the, you know, glasses. At like, you know what? We're going to yeah, spend different, hours. Different, different. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Another day. <laughs> oh, yes. Bye, Mark. Do you have a most memorable director's note that you've been given of all of your movies? Oh, wow. Um, don't die. Don't, I've gotten that one. Don't die. Don't die. Sometimes, yeah, sometimes it's you're doing something and you kind of wake up halfway through and you're like, Three, two, one, go! This could go really badly for me right now and I'm just going to hold on to the, the brief glimpse that maybe I'll be okay. Um, <laughs> don't die. I imagine that wasn't an Emma. Oh, what do I do? What do I do? Okay, okay. No, not in Emma. Run! <laughs> There was a moment on Last Night in Soho with the mirrored staircase and the flashing lights. That was quite a, also, in the heels, that was quite a thing. The steady cam, your head being mm -hmm. donked off, yep. Yeah, I, I can't really, yeah, don't die. Go out and have fun. Have fun is nice. Stop you don't really think about that that stop much. Stop smiling so much. Stop smiling. Yep. Yeah. I, I know James McAvoy's nailing it. Just But don't, you're in the scene, yep. Anya. <laughs> And you're always a pleasure. Likewise. Never at all. You. And I apologize and I am totally okay with getting the money if we do end it with a frozen standalone. Understood. I'll reach out. My people will call your people. <laughs> the call never bothered me anyway. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon to keep up to date. You can listen to my Radio 1 movies and TV podcast screen time on BBC Sounds. And you can find these interviews in full on BBC iPlayer by searching Movies with Ali Plum.